what's up guys, back in the workshop here today and we have got a big project to do. A project that I've been meaning to start for uh, for weeks now. I sent out sort of a mass email several weeks ago <laughs> talking about the start of a series of a knife I design called the Islander. Now I've showed this design around a little bit. Um, like I said, I sent out an email. I talked about it on a live stream. I even showed the template of what we're going to make. And this is it right here. This is the Islander pattern. This is what I drew up. It's a knife I've been thinking about for a while. It's a knife that's geared a little more on the hunting, angling side, but uh, also it will make a fantastic all-around camp knife as well. Very ergonomic handle, just locks right in the hand, super comfy, but then you have all that deep belly as well. You have lots of blade there for choking up your skinning and different things like that. I just think it'll make a fantastic knife. Really excited about it. Like I said, it's called the Islander. I was going to do a bigger batch. I turned out, uh, it turned out just with the materials I have and the time I have, I'm going to do a batch of 10. Now these 10 will be up for sale. A couple have already been spoken for, but uh, I haven't put out too much on this yet. So I'm hoping they'll sell quick. If you're interested in purchasing one, let me know soon and uh, and hopefully there will be one left for you. But we're going to number these right from the beginning. As soon as we get them cut out and start grinding, we're going to punch our numbers in before heat treat. That way you'll be able to watch your knife along the rest of the way being built. We'll number them 1 through 10. This is exciting. I'm going to start cutting them out. I have a lot more steel here than just the Islander series because I have several other orders too that I'm going to cut out since I'm setting up the bandsaw and stuff. Might as well get it all done in one time. It is cold out here in the shop today. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but it feels raw here going around. Uh, it's just below freezing, around minus one there now. But as you can see, I don't have much clothes on because I'm about to put on my grinding coat, which has a hood on. So, let's get started. Now, my best case scenario, I'd say, or what I'm hoping for today, is to get all these cut out and to get them perimeter ground. So get the, the shape fully dialed in. I, I don't think I'll get to any bevel grinding today. Getting close to Christmas and I'm starting to feel that Christmas spirit. I love Christmas. Some pentatonics. Ten blades cut out, plus uh, three, three other orders cut out there, and you can see. Let's uh, let's just take one for example here. You can see they're cut out pretty rough. I just really roughly cut them out on the bandsaw, but uh, I didn't put too much time. Well, I knew this here was going to be a problem because you can't cut that steep of a turn on the bandsaw and I don't have a grinder with a radius or a good grinder with a radius to match this. So this is a bit of a bit tough. I made this job more difficult for myself. This rounded pummel here is going to also make things a little bit more difficult, but uh, look at there. This is how you know your shot's cold when you have to Break the ice in the surface of your cooling bucket. Bubbles, breathing protection, ear protection, plus I have my earbuds in with a hat, and then we'll put the hood down like this to keep all the grinding dust off my face and, and head area and neck. It just keeps me really clean. I can go a lot longer before I have to stop and, and clean off.
So here we are, 10 blades all cut out, perimeter ground and ready for bevels. I'm not going to do the bevels tonight because I've been out here long enough. Uh, dexterity is starting to go down in my hands and uh, and as you get a little bit tired and you spend a lot of time at the grinder, a couple hours you get bored and then you're not concentrating as much and then when you start bevels you're more likely to make mistakes. You learn some tricks like that the hard way. Sometimes it's better to just call it quits uh, when you know you're ready for that, it comes with personal experience, but that's what I've found. If I have started grinding the bevels in now, I'm more liable to make mistakes, and I do not want to make mistakes because it just makes for more work, hand sanding and whatnot. So I'm going to stop right now. I just wanted to make a comment talking about losing dexterity in my hands. I've had so many comments over the years in my sharpening videos. Anytime I finish an edge and I edge test my blade, Doing the three finger test back and forth and that just annoys some people to no end it just makes them so mad and they leave such nasty comments about how I'm being uh, I'm being stupid to <laughs> stupid to that was weird <laughs> I did a whistle that, that I'm being stupid uh, for touching the blade in that way implying that I'm gonna cut myself I think a lot of people don't realize that not everyone is the same if you personally aren't competent enough to touch the blade in that way, please don't do it. Also, and this is a comment I always leave just because I'm trying to troll people back, but I tell them to grow up and get some hands on them. Get some man's hands, I usually say. Uh, my hands are covered in calluses and stuff from working out like this, and it's going to take a lot more than a featherweight touch on a blade like that to cut into my flesh. It's not little baby flesh. I, I've got some calluses on there. These are work hands. So don't assume that everyone's the same as you. If it doesn't work for you, you don't need to tell me that. Just don't do it. Okay, that's just the point I want to make. It just came in my mind there while I was uh, dipping them down in that ice bucket and, ju and just thinking about different comments I've seen online lately. If something doesn't work for you, don't do it. You don't need to tell me not to do it. Anyways, guys, that's just my uh, kind of little mini rant for the day. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is going to be a great series. Like I said, we got 10 blades here. All 10 are for sale this time. So it's exciting. I'm excited for this build, the Islander series. Shoot me an email at the email on the screen there now if you want to pick your spot. It's a deposit up front, so you pay the whole amount up front and then shipping when that time comes. Yeah, not much more to say. Hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And if you really want to, if you got the Christmas spirit in you, uh, share the video somehow to your Facebook or, or somewhere else like that. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.